Hello everyone, my name is Lothorn. Welcome back to Minecraft, Lothorn's Swap Pack. We're currently acquiring Electron to upgrade our servos. Electron cools very fast compared to the other thing. Okay, pretty good, I'd say. Pretty good. Alright, and we just need basically this to siphon you more things. Uh, don't think we have any more lead, do we? No. Well, that is a shame. But eventually, I shall make a giant system to make this all work amazingly. And it'll go, wow! That's amazing. And it will be. But for the moment, it is what it is. So, let us be off with our business. In flight? Yes. Flight. All the way over here. It's going to be very cool, though, in the future. Once I figure it out. <laughs> It'll be very interesting in the future when I figure it out. Uh, no, I don't want to be over here. I want to be over here. <laughs> Get rid of that tiresome pipe. Uh, and actually, if we do that, oh, oh, there we go. It's like even more chess capability. Uh, if we do that there, that'll be even, even more, even more chest. Um, right. So here, we have a bit of a bottleneck, which is no problem. We simply add the Electrum, we have the Electron Servo always on, and it's going to really increase the speed of things being put into here. Same for over here. We're going to turn this into the electron servo. And that should increase the speed of things put in here. And then we actually get to use this crafting table. We can KO this tree. And just get rid of the some sucker. There we go, with the tilt key. And let's see. That there, that there, and we got ourselves some acacia wood chests. Very nice. Very fancy. And voila! We got even more in the system. Uh, always running. Oh my goodness, these have even more extraction capabilities. I don't even want to think about what those mean. Ugh. Brain not ready to think about stuff like that. Okay, so the extraction's going fine. Things are actually going places. We can definitely turn this on now. And it can continue to gain us all these lovely resources here. Now, have we gotten any lead? That's a Thing to check for. I need lead in here. We got tin, we got copper, we got loads of copper, we got some cinnabar, uh, salt, dilithium. Wow, things are already pretty fast. No lead, really. Oh, why, why is lead so rare? Is this lead? No, that's rutite. Uh, again, checked here. Lots of copper, but no tin. Shame, lead is quite important to my uh, plants. Let's see. Well, there's the hard end. Um, what do the reinforced uh, vacuum item tube dense item tube? Because if we have a uh, what's the right? What's the recipe here for? Is item ducts just... No, fl fluid ducts. Vacuum items. I just need items. Uh, we're just the items. I don't need vacuum. Eh. Super. Item duct. Dense item duct. Item duct. What does transparent require? This just requires tin and hardened glass. Ooh, hardened glass though is 
bit of a ball egg to get. Uh, so the harden and the item duck that is solid seeming requires tin and lead. Okay. And then the next level will be the vacuum, vacuum item too. And the vacuum is new. All right. So vacuum item ducked. A vacuum item duck opaque. Again, is tin lead. Uh, impulse item duct requires normal item ducts in fact, so we just need the lead and tin, which are not getting siphoned up here. It would look like that might be the deeper ores. I don't really know. The next step would be send robots down there to pick everything off the sides. Although, I think I can do that myself. Mm. Wow, that filled up fast. That all filled up very fast. There's one lead ore. Which means there might be more lead coming. Although the lead might be in the side a bit. We'll have to check. Need to maybe go spelunking. Uh, any lead ore in here? No. It gets pulled out before the top can even do stuff. Which is great. I mean, we actually don't need this set up here. Which is great. Um, so this works by far easily fast enough. So the lead, or if we have any more, should be somewhere in here. Which it is. Yes. There we go. Some lead art. Uh, I guess I might have just hit a lead pocket down there. Let's see what we're dealing with. Uh, got a lot of dilithium crystals. Some other lock, rock layers. Uh, very big world hole. Now the improved one fills in with cobblestone, which I think helps you avoid leg, maybe? Uh, I think it does, anyways. All right. Before we get sucked into it ourselves. Let's go get ourselves some lead. There's a little bit more lead. Should eat some food while doing this. Damn. Lead seems to have gotten sucked down here. Okay, right. I believe that is some lead up there. You might be able to snaggle. Yep. That's a all right vein. And then there's some lead in that iron over there. And this is also lead, I think. Might be a different color, but no, this is nickel, okay. But that's definitely lead up there. So, you just have to go get that. Ooh silver. Okay. Not exactly what we're looking for either. Now there's all these weird formations in the sides. Definitely have to figure out how to get some mining robots to go clean this up. I mean, can just do this. Use ladders and scaffolding and stuff. Because ladders can be dropped down too. So that's a useful thing. Man. It is really going, ain't it? Going to get all those. That appears to be another deposit of useful, delicious resources. Is this nickel here? Uh, tin. Okay. I believe, yep, yeah, that's more lead for us. Sort of a dark, purpley color. Um, the lead ore. Okay. There's a ball of iron. Or are we getting down to this fun stuff down there? Going to be grabbing some very interesting resources soon here. Uh, check it out. Okay, now we just need to get back out. We should get the grappling hook gun or something. We do have a lot of cobblestone. 
how these stupid arrows, when you try to cycle while holding shift, the arrows wants to go, oh, you do mean a different type of arrow there, buddy? Yeah, let me be helpful and get you a different type of arrow. Yeah, isn't that great? And it's like, no, I don't want you to do that. Stop. I know, it just has to be helpful for some reason. Um, okay, off we go. I guess I, I mean, hmm, no, never mind. Silly thoughts. All right, so now over here, let's just try to grab everything we can from it. Uh, all the lead, anyways. How we can get it. Wow. There's too many resources. It's just going to keep filling up. Like, I don't know. There's some nickel. I don't know if we have enough chests even now. Uh going to have to cut down another tree just in case and build an extra chest here uh, all right a lot more wood this time too there's a ton more chests um, so let's do this here and uh, because it's a different kind can actually sneak this out like that. We can also sneak some on top here. There we go. And we can grab this here. This should be nearing its finish. There we go. That should also start to fill up. Yeah, the, we should be down to bedrock now. So now it just needs to siphon everything out. All right, good. Excellent. This job is done. Now this all just needs to be moved out. Uh, and then we can set it up again. All right. Let's head on back home with our prize. A whole bushel of 22 lead. And deposit that promptly. Uh, hoop. Ba doop. Ba doop. Excellent though. It's very exciting. I'm getting this stuff done. Very, very exciting. That means we are getting things going. Um, sleepy time. Definitely, it's time to sleep. But in the morning, we can start firing lead away here. And do the furnace. Uh, let's see, some lead. Do we have nickel in here? I actually got a decent amount, and we do have nickel. So we can chuck the nickel in as well. A little bit of silver. And Wow, nickel smelts fast. Uh, molten silver, molten seared bricks, nickel. There's an ingot of nickel. Oh wait, did nickel turn into something? Electrum, silver, glass. Why is there only one molten nickel ingot? There's a bunch of molten silver. So I threw a bunch of nickel in there. Oh, it's the nickel that took a while to smelt. The lead is fast, okay. Uh, all right, that's still... Yep, and that's how you make a mess. All right. So, need to remove these. And as much as we pains me, need to remove that. That can go into there. That can build that. So that's already like an ingot in those, I believe. With the lead. Alright. So how much lead do we got? We got five blocks of lead. Um, so. We can pour that. Um, five 
blocks of lead, eight ingots. So let's just pour this out. I have to just let pour out, I guess. Um, yeah, it's always going to be messy. So you just clean up at the end. I feel like it's just better to have a bunch of holes in the side and have it pour out each one to its own casting tub, which I think I will move to doing. I just love the idea of like pouring out a ton of the stuff, you know? It's just satisfying. But efficiency-wise, uh, definitely has its problems. Most definitely has its problems. Cause like, look at that. Get a bunch more mess there. And this is not actually. Why did I even do that? Um, anyhow, let's head on over here. So we got the blocks of lead now, and we need nickel. Don't have nearly as much milk to nickel as I'd like. Uh, is that glass, maybe? Silver? Let's try silver. Oh yeah, silver. All right, so we can pour out the silver over there. Yeah, get that done. Just give it a moment. There we go. It's hardening up. And it is done. Okay, cool. Uh, I guess we'll get a little more silver there. And then nickel. Or is this electrum I'm now pouring out? Very nickel. Yeah, with nickel ingots. Okay. Do we have enough for a block of nickel? I hope so. Is it? No, that's hard enough. Okay, good. Uh, more nickel here. Better be hardening up. Looks like it. Wow, nickel takes some time to cool. Uh, I mean, the ingots are faster, but still. It must take its time. All right, break that down, take that. Take this, break it down. Nickel can no, the nickels can't stack. Great! This is bloody brilliant. And it's different lead. I don't know. Oh, this is messy. Okay, right. Lead and nickel. Uh-oh. Uh, ew. Are these things even lead and nickel? Oh, it's tin. I didn't need all this nickel. Okay, um, nickel can screw off then. All right, tin. I thought I need nickel. Uh, do I have tin in here? Nickel, lead, silver, tin. Uh. All right, there's tin in any of these boxes. I doubt it. Uh, all right. Anyhow, we're going to leave it there for a day, so thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.